The vocabulary of mechanicals Enchantingly fanatical Here to tell a tale or two Hello everyone, lovely to see you. Josh from The Fabularian here. We are super excited as we have just confirmed our first live performance since lockdown began. That's right, in two weeks time we are going to be heading up to the Lake District to a lovely little town called Olverston where we will be taking Reynard the Fox to perform across the weekend uh, as part of the Coronation Hall's Outdoor Arts Summer Program. We're super excited, but of course, with this comes a lot of high risks. And so we've taken some time to do some research into the government guidelines and consult the likes of Outdoor Arts UK, NASA UK and Equity so that we can implement their guidelines and their, their thoughts on the matter into our risk assessment so as to keep both us and our audience safe. But yeah, so I guess the only thing left to do is to crack on. I think we've got some safety measures to start putting in place. We play and perform in the warm and the cold Whatever the weather our story will be told We'll sing and we'll play upon this stage So come gather round Had no form of deliveries of goods and picked up a load of things at the shop so just gonna have a look at what we get. Dental spray and wear, big pack of work gloves four-pack of hand sanitizing gel. Right, so what we got in the bag? Lots of fun stuff. So, hand, because that's what I want. Uh, yeah. We've got Gareth's to be putting the wrapping. A bit of flash anti-back. And then, finally, oh, well, hopefully he's in this Yeah, I've got some sanitary pads. Uh, and I'll show you why in a moment. So, I've got some, um, sanitizing water because anything with alcohol will break down any of the glue in the headpieces so I'm just going to spray the whole of the outside and the inside and let it dry in the sun and I'm going to let that dry and then I'm going to wrap it in um, a bin bag and tie it off so once it's completely sanitized um, I'm going to lock it off and airtight seal it and put it in its box ready to go. We wait for them to dry. We'll trick you out of all that you have. If you look into those tricksters eyes, you'll find Reynolds won his game. For PPE, my mum has actually made me some masks to wear when I'm out and about. So we've got we've got Fox, we've got hot air balloons, and we've got Paper Mario and Luigi. Oh, I like a pro. Goodbye, Lupin. And I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some extra bin bags. So after every show, I'll sanitise them and put them in a bin bag ready for the next show. So I'll just take some extra bin bags and make sure they don't come into contact with anything after I've sanitised them. I'll wipe this down, sanitise the whole box, and then we're good to go. Now, it's lovely and fresh, but we're going to try something a bit different this time. I picked up uh, from touring with the amazing mask company, Vamos Theatre, is they will take um, a sanitary pad and they will put it on the forehead of the mask. This is because it's nice and comfy, it acts as padding, but also because it absorbs all the sweat that comes off your forehead. Going rather foxy is the only thing you need to know Is that Reynard is my name Yo! It is Friday, the sun is shining. Today is our travel day, so we are heading up to Olverston to the, uh, yeah, to the Lake District today. Watch out for that wily red-tailed menace He will trick you out of all that you have If you look into those trickster's eyes You'll find Reynard's won his game Gareth, Gareth, guess yeah. what? Yeah. We got Jess! Oh. Have you been making videos without me? Yes. Reynard banished from the Woodland Kingdom and broken and was left dishonored But he always has the upper hand Because tricking is his game We 
made it to Wolverston. Yay. And we're hanging out with uh, Lauren and Hardy. Yeah, and these two guys in the statue. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> Yeah, so we're all set up. We've we've had food, drinks, and stuff, and we're just chilling now. So, um, are we ready for tomorrow? Yes, I'm excited. As you can tell, Gareth's ready for tomorrow. <laughs> You're right, Gareth. You seem very excited. I can't wait. Happy days. <laughs> Is the day of our first outdoor show this year and it is perfect weather. <laughs> Yeah, it is so good to be back out on tour again. It's many feet. Yeah, and there's just such an energy about today's shows, and we're kind of one of the first big static shows that's happening after lockdown's easing. Uh, just going through certain elements of the set, which uh, we all touch at some point. It's really good to be back out on the road. Yo, so we are on in an hour 20. Uh, we've got the set all set up and everything. Um, it's all looking lovely. It's nice to have it back up and everything. Yeah, yeah it's going to be good. I mean, the weather is perfect. Um, we're just setting out all the dots and the socially spaced pods. Yeah, I mean, it's exciting. We've got to do what we've got to do, but we're going to bring some entertainment, some people of Ulster. Oh, yeah. This is lovely Claire who's laying it all out. She's the Hello. one who's booked us today. How are you doing? All right, thank you very much. Cool. And then this is—is is this the second event you've had sort of here in uh, of the outdoor this is from? The first out oh. here. We've had our first event at the at the venue. So we've got Luke Jones Moon in there at the moment. Yeah. Nice and socially distant, but this is our first one outdoors and the first one of the year. So fingers crossed. We're very excited. Yeah, we're super excited to, just to be back outdoors and everything. It should be nice and fun, but. Yeah, I mean, have you sort of found all the sort of procedures going in place and everything with the risk assessment and all of that? Seems so be fine. We've been following all the government guidance, obviously, working as much as we can with different agencies. We had a little chat with the Outdoor Arts Association a few weeks ago, and yeah, everything seems pretty safe, pretty above board. We just hope everyone's happy when they get here, but yeah. everyone should be super safe, so that's the most important thing. Awesome, yeah, we're, we're ready for it. We're ready for it, Claire. Let's do this. Yeah. Come on. It's just about to hit 12, and we have our lovely social distanced audience. And set us all down and let's go do our first show of the summer, 2020. Yeah. We are the Fabularium. Did you enjoy the show? <laughs> it's a bit warm. A little bit. <clears throat> Voices are a bit, yeah, that's the first time in quite some time. But yeah, it was a good show. It was. Good, it was really good. Lovely. Yep. Only fell over once. Yeah. Um, got the lion cape caught yeah. <laughs> on the way into it, yeah. I almost fell off the stage. Uh, yeah, I must fell off the throne. That was funny. Yeah. It's good though. It was really good. Yeah, it was and great. also, like we were just saying, that although the audience are quite far back from us, we still had a similar level of interaction. Yeah. Um, you could still feel a little bit of tense, um, a little bit of tension um, yeah. from the audience, a little bit of wariness. But they were, you know, yeah. they were wanting to help find where Reynard had gone, and they were pointing and sort of some dancing going on. So yeah. heckling and everything. I would say it was still a pretty it's successful great. show. Oh. It was, it was really good. It's really good fun. I really enjoyed it, and I enjoy the silliness of it. And it's a show we know so so well. So it's um, it's really fun to kind of when things kind of go a little bit wrong, or you know, keeps us on our toes. I really love that. The vibe was really fun from us. We're just so happy to be back out playing. And I think that my favourite thing about this whole social distance thing of the audience in different areas and different little pods two metres apart and all that is the markings are like paw prints, which I really, really love. So the sort of grass spray thing, <laughs> like big lion paw prints. I think it's brilliant. It's kind of accepting the situation um, and trying to make the, the best of it rather than it being policed and strict and rigid and grids and straight lines. It's like, well, let's have some fun with it. You know, we've got to do it, but let's have some fun with it. So, yeah. Yeah, 
Bernard. But most importantly, enjoy the rest of your sunny weekend! <laughs> What's up? Check out the view, lovely view. Uh, we just come to the end of day one, we're just having a bit of time to chill and everything. How are people feeling after the first day? Oh, I'm a little bit tired. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. it's been a while. Yeah, I've actually forgotten that we did show today. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> it went so this quick. Is too it brilliant. is just absolutely beautiful. We're at Lake Coniston. Yeah, we're just having a bit of downtime before heading back to the, uh, the, the hotel. They applauded us for having downtime. Yeah, we're just chilling for a bit and then we're going to go home and uh, just, just relax and chill out and go to bed and then do it all again tomorrow. All again tomorrow. One last thing before we do sign off, we made a little discovery. This amazing steamboat. Uh, and it made a proper good noise as well. I'm like, it's like, toot toot. It was yeah. good. Uh, but if you can see here, I'm just going to zoom in. Nope, can't zoom in. <laughs> <laughs> it says... What does it say, Jess? Bruin. It says Bruin on Bruin. it. That's right. There's a steamboat rolled up called Bruin. Bruin the boat. Bruin the bear. Bruin the bear. Yeah. Bear. We'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bruin on it is now. Damn right. <laughs> Looks like I've caught some fish. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, blue skies again. Outdoor theatre at its finest. Listen up, Lupin, you look so tense. I don't want to talk to you. Oh, come on now, Lupin, don't be shy. Do you know what you've put me through? Good morning. It is our second show day. We are just setting up and getting everything sorted and ready. Um, we kick off in about 50 minutes' time. So Jess is doing some last-minute sewing before the show. She's also becoming a little T-Rex. The tiny arms. Give us a roar. Yeah. How are you feeling about the show, guys? How are you feeling about day two? Really good. Yeah, I'm feeling really good, man. Oh, yeah. I really wish we could stay out here. For yeah. Longer. It's too beautiful. Yeah. It's been a good, fun experience. Mm -hmm. fun. I was a bit apprehensive to begin with. Um, mainly just, obviously, so many guidelines and rules and things. And we've stuck to everything that we said we were going to do. Um, and so has the the event and the venue so yeah. it's run pretty smoothly to be it's honest really smoothly it's lovely how friendly they're being about the rules you know we all have to do it and so it's making the like a game out of it which i'm really enjoying just kind of fun yeah i'm feeling i'm feeling all right i'm ready for another day of shows welcome to the hundredth show i can't believe we made it is everybody all right have you all had some ice cream today <laughs> We haven't even done anything yet. I love it. We're getting applause already. Um, so just a very quick thing, Health and Safety, thank you so much for sticking with these pods that are all in poor shapes. That's really great. Um, we've been isolating as like a work bubble, so we're going to be kind of dancing together and hugging and doing all that kind of stuff. That's totally safe. We've been isolating for a while to make sure we can deliver the show for you guys. But that basically means don't swap pods and start dancing and hugging the other. But dancing is definitely allowed in your little zone. I want to see some boogie as we're going. Also, photos totally allowed. Take photos as much as you want. We'll do hashtags and social media later. But ladies and gentlemen, we're going to tell you a story. Is everybody here ready for a story? Yeah! I said, is everybody ready for a story? We have just finished uh, our pack up. Van's loaded. We're setting off now. Um, yeah, there you go, you can see we're, we're saying goodbye. Uh, it has been an absolutely lovely couple of days up here in the Lake District in Alveston. We've had some great crowds, some great feedback and everything. Any final thoughts? Warm! Bye Alveston! Bye! Bye Parkland! See ya! Hi! Yo! Hey, so just um, reflecting on what a wonderful weekend we had first uh, show that we've done outdoors and um, during the pandemic. As an experience, it was absolutely phenomenal. The weather was fantastic, the audience was fantastic. And you could sort of see and hear from reactions that people just really wanted to be there and they were really enjoying the atmosphere. And it was just so amazing to get back out there and do what we love. And yeah, it was really, really rewarding. 
I was worried that we were going to lose the magic of outdoor theatre and lose the magic of audiences gathering to watch a show and be entertained um, because of rules and regulations and strictness. But actually what was great was they, they incorporated fun into the things that we had to do. And, you know, of course, like us and audience members, there is that bit of sort of worry because, of course, you know, it's, it's still, we're still just coming out of lockdown and it's, it's still a bit of icky territory, but it felt safe and everyone else, you know, in the audience, us, uh, Claire, the programmer, everyone felt safe, which was absolutely remarkable. In terms of whole social distancing and measures in place, um, all the stunt made us feel really comfortable. There were risk assessments in place. The audience were a good few metres back from the front of the stage and that definitely, that sort of distance does have an impact on, on the relationship we have with them. And, you know, just the energy has to travel that little bit further before it lands. And so, yeah, they might not have been as responsive as they usually would have been if they were all kind of like climbing in and on the set like they usually are. Um, so it didn't hinder it, but it did kind of affect it some in some ways, but but really not a lot. We're quite fortunate that Reynard the Fox is a very, a very uh, physical, dynamic, quick show, fast paced. And so, you know, you're sat down and you may not be as close as you usually would be and you're not um, shoulder to shoulder with other audience members, but you're still there with your f family in this pod. And it's still the same dynamic action. And we were quite fortunate that Ford Park, where we were performing in Olveston, was, it was a nice quiet park, so we were able to project now vocals were carrying over the whole crowd and obviously we had our own social distancing measures and um ppe and things like that now that we've done the performance looking now at the measures we put in place they were very strict and i think there's a lot that could be loosened i think because we were in the middle of a, an open field a huge open field um and when we were set we so we'd said we'd wear masks we'd said we'd wear gloves for when we're setting up the set when we're building unloading the van um, nobody else was around, it was just us three, and we felt that that maybe was unnecessary. Especially if it was just us three there. I imagine if, you know, audience members were around, then yeah, I agree, wearing a mask would be very necessary. Um, but it felt just, yeah, it felt like we didn't need that, especially if we were performing together on stage during the show. But if we were in like an urban environment or a different setting, where there was people all around, then yeah, I think we would we would have to go back to wearing um, gloves and masks. Um, I mean, we anti-backed our hands all, I was anti-backing all the time. Definitely the cleaning of the props and after every show and before every show works, spraying of the headpieces works. Also the venue themselves, the, the people who organized it, had to put such good measures in place. So it felt so comfortable for us to not have to wear all those things all the time. And we modified the show, so um, those no singing at directly at each other, work fine, no kazoo. But I do think we could do with evaluating all of our measures and thinking about, you know, what, what is too strict now that we've done a performance and tested it. But, you know, to have it there for your first performance, is, first set of performances is, is good because it's better to be safe than sorry. It just worked. It actually just worked. And I'm excited for the Outdoor Arts um, Network and community to get back out there and bring art to life again. We've missed it all so much. So yeah, I just, you know, it's been an absolute blast. And being in the van, having some fun, it was just great. Outdoor arts have got to be the pioneers into um, bringing, bringing the world back to life again, and I hope we can do that. And I can't wait to hopefully get maybe get some more gigs this year. Fingers crossed. We've all missed it so much. So it was great just to, you know, hang out with your best friends and do what we do what we love doing, performing, entertaining. Yeah. Great weekend all round and I loved it. Here's to many more. Woohoo! I wish you all the best. I hope you all stay safe out there and take care of yourselves and hopefully see you soon. Bye. Hey.